Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be discussing site-to-site -site IPsec GRE tunnels configured through Cisco's own Security Device Manager, or SDM. We're going to be using the same basic topology that I've uh, used in previous VPN and GRE tunnel labs, where we have three routers, the home router, the office router, and the interwebs router which will be essentially simulating a network where the uh, traffic that travels between the home and office router through the GRE tunnel will be transparent to the interwebs router and will will show that uh, none of the routes the static route or either of these networks uh, in red will be learned by the interwebs router which makes that tunnel uh, useful for us. We'll be using the tunnel in tunnel mode rather than transport so that we have an entire packet encapsulation and encryption. The interesting traffic that we will define across this tunnel is networks 172.16.1.0 with a 24-bit mask and our loopback over on the office router here with the 192.168 1.10 address and a 32-bit mask. Between the three routers on the 10.1.1.0 network and the 10.2.2.0 network, we will have EIGRP and uh, Autonomous System 10 configured so that these three routers can communicate with each other. But as I mentioned before, the interwebs router will have no visibility of either of these outside networks and that's what we, we want to accomplish when we're doing uh, a configuration like this with the GRE tunnel or a VPN connection across a public network. We want that traffic to essentially be transparent and uh, prevent any possible attacker from sniffing out information and uh, getting access to our networks. So site A will be the 10.1.1.1 address and site B will be 10.2.2.1. Uh, we'll go through that configuration in the STM and I'll show you how to set set that up. The 10 the I'm sorry, the 172.16.1.0 network will reach the 192.168.1.10 network via an uh, IP route, a static route here. You can see it specifies the destination network.